Gary here, and welcome to episode number 26 of a Let's Play of East Origin on the PC, playing through as Hugo. And in the last episode, we basically made our way through the second half of the Demonic Core, and um, up to the Devil's Throne, but we've hit a bit of an impasse whereby we need a medallion to get any further forward. Now, I have a fair idea where it was, and I deliberated going back to get it before, but then didn't. And lo and behold, I should have done that, to a degree. I mean, it got me to a save point at least, which is good, that's what I was kind of aiming for, but... It's always good to be in a, in a position where you can do stuff. Um, like, go forward. Um, well, get yes, the plan is to head back, to back a couple of screens, essentially, and take another turn that we kind of in semi-inadvertently missed, um, while jumping about and unlocking all of those ramps and whatnot. I think we're going to have to do it again, just when once we go back, which is a shame. Um, well, it gives us a chance to level up again, probably, so that's good. Um, so yeah, let's go and kill everything in here on the way down. I'm not going to go out of my way to get into... Well, I am going to go out of my way to get into fights. I'm going to try and clear the area, sorry. Um, that is the idea, the intent of this for me. Um, just to murder everything as fast as I can. Um, that's a shame I can't use this to kill them quite so easily. Um, like you can't bypass the armor if they're guarding. They just are in guard mode. That's it. End of. So these are pretty straightforward now. Um, oh, poisoned again. Shine. Um, so. Oh. I should get this from here. Um, I'll do. Not that tough, really. Same as these, really. They're not that tough. Um, I'm still not sure what curse does. I, uh, a curse is probably bad, like probably self-evidently, but to stop the boost um, going, perhaps. Didn't mean to stop that there. It just happened. <laughs> but yeah, um, that makes sense, I guess. But anyway, we'll clear the, clear these out of whatever they're holding and. Leave him alone, I guess. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, we're going to have to go back down here again, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, there's nothing wrong with the area, it just means we're backtracking. Um, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It does mean we can clear these, and without the, the annoying thing with the guys with the. Um, cloaks of armour and whatnot is that they just the well is that is that they're tough. Oh no these have stayed here but I'm pretty sure that the uh, medallion that we're after is just up here. This just must be the way you would have were to meet the first one of those that you were to come on. Just be a coward. There we go. Um so there is our devil medallion. Take us into the devil's throne. Um, so what we'll do is, unfortunately again we've got to kind of backtrack through. I'm going to sh keep this on screen because it means we can get our level up on screen and whatnot. Um, but again, I'm, I'm actually now, because I seem to remember when I was doing this as Unica, I was a little bit shell-shocked at this point, almost, um, with how that story progressed. I'm going to try and avoid saying the specifics of what happened in case you haven't seen it or you don't want to know. Uh, I've tried to be a little bit good with that. I'm not sure if I've been totally brilliant, but I don't want to give away all the, like, the plot twists unless people have seen it um, or played it or whatever they want. However, however you choose to live your lives um, and enjoy the game. But um, yeah, I should, I'm going to assume that you've watched this one through, so I'm not going to worry about I mean, talking about things that have happened in this playthrough. So the there's an equivalent, like defining moment happens at the same sort of point of the game um, is the opponent was it, was it was a little bit further on um, so it's kind of just the pacing a little bit Hugo's had more time to kind of think and digest it I guess so by the time he goes to meet Xavier he's now like kind of hardened to the idea that he's just he's not going to be taken in by Dallas he's going to be his own man and he's going to do things on his own terms 
without the power of the demons and whatnot. Um, which is not a bad way to be. It's what I would do if I could. Um, if I was in a scenario, I would not want to. Be, it'll be on the obvious bad guys as list. So, I mean, actually, having said, obviously, they're not. I say the obvious bad guys. Um, like any truly decently written um, bad guys, they have they have justifiable reasons for wanting to do what they want to do. It's just, and you obviously have justifiable reasons as a um, protagonist to try and stop them. However, um, yeah, well, what I'm getting at is that, like, it's compromising your right. In terms of Hugo, it's kind of compromising his ideals almost. Um, just for the lust for power, but he, but he is also susceptible to that. Is also susceptible to that. Actually, I'm not even getting out here. I'm just recapping the story almost. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice little plot arc, basically. I guess. Interestingly, it comes from Hugo's point of view as well. So that's another bit of a twist on the narrative. Um, again, I, I don't know the full ins and outs of how it all fits together. I, I assume this will all be come to light. The, um, it is basically no well accepted that the um, well not even accepted it just is the case that the canon version and what actually happened during this episode of East history is the one told by Toll's point of view, um, and Unica and um, Hugo both seem to have like a um, talking about before an agenda I guess. Like Unica has a huge bias towards the goddesses. Um, she's basically their best friend. Um, and everything they kind of reflects that a little bit um, so they kind of do no wrong or whatever um, whereas I think Hugo has a bit less time for them and is more about himself and his family which is understandable um, and the facts if you play any of these games have a little bit of a reputation for being like um, the black sheep so to speak of the six like six families or the priests or whatever um, But yeah, um, I don't know, I'm sort of just rambling while I'm doing this, I possibly should have just cut away, but I, I like musing on things a little bit, um, even if I have no real agenda as to what I'm musing on, just like to think about these things. Apologies if you don't like me listening, <laughs> don't like listening to it, but um, say la vie, I guess. So let's just get this finished off. Even just since the last episode, we've made like neck end of 70,000 SP here. It's a really nice area for leveling up, and I assume it would take like about solid half an hour to get you up to where you'd want to be um, to get all of everything unlocked. Um, which would be in line with the other East games, I suppose. Like, I remember when I was playing Felgana recently, a good half an hour just run through the last area, kind of sorted that out. Um, we're seven hours in here. I must have spent more time faffing about with Unica. Or just, actually, no, I know what happened. I spent more time learning how to do stuff with Unica, and now I know how to do it with um, Hugo. Which explains why I haven't spent so much time faffing about. But yeah, like, for example, sorting out the whole um, petrification thing with the knights, I just had to look that up. I remember trying to work it out and failing. But yeah, the fact that we're doing this, I implies that we have one last boss fight. Oh, of course. I believe this was the Kishgal fight in Unica, this playthrough, and where Kishgal was, was Epona. Um, and they were both similarly weighted. So, like, Kishgal was as difficult as... I didn't think Epona was the first enemy that Unica beat in one fight. Memory serves, going back over. Troll! Yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. Exactly. It's mastery, awesomeness, kick astitude. No. Yeah, 
So, I tend to defeat you, but I'm about to rely on my demon guesses. My own power will be plenty. Mwah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Also, he is still playing for the other team. He's just being a bit weird. Okay, damn it. Come on, then. Let's do this. Crap. How is this going to work? Uh, oh, he's taking damage at least. Um, so am I, though. Um, nuts. Although, he's doing okay, I think. Come here. Oh, the leg guards even coming into play here now. Which is good. Um, oh, come on. Ow. Come on. He's doing some, like, kind of... What's that looking for? Um, yeah, like, like... He's drawing us in a little bit. Um, with that. But we've got the shield up still, so that's fine. Um, I think there seems to be... I'm not sure if it's good that I've kind of got a go-to kind of plan for fights with Hugo now, but that being said, it stands to reason, I guess. I've only really, in, in any part of the game, used the one magic recently, um, apart from almost just to play about with it. Like the fire, I think I've used twice. Um, so thanks, Saul, for that. Uh, <laughs> the only time I've used it is to kind of light the, what you call them, the... the um, Ah, oh, the torches in the uh, burning fire or whatever. It's got, I've forgotten the name of the area now. Um, but yeah, not I, not my finest hour, I guess, in terms of respecting my elders and whatnot. Then again, it's pretty much in character with Hugo, so um, yeah, stick with that. He's got a lot of HP, this guy, actually. Um, hopefully he doesn't change his style too much. And it becomes... We're kind of plodding away at him here. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, I see that. As I spoke too soon. Go on, hit him, Hugo. So we should have enough for boost now. Ah, damn it, I'm, I'm, that's, I'm getting mixed up between when I was fighting with him. Um, come on, use him. Come on, kill him. There we go. Let's get him. Come on, get here. Ah, I've run out of it now. But we're doing okay. Um, so let a few more hits in. Should really be careful here. <laughs> Come on, Toll. Show me what you're made of. Don't show me what you're made of. Well, no, actually, no, don't, because that was pretty nasty last time. Let's save up some... Ow. Okay. Been a bit blasé here, but I think I've got him. Um, yeah. Indeed. I don't actually know, but I'm sure it'll come to bear here. I see. Ah. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Sibling rivalries and all that. Huh. I guess, kind of, yeah, but... And now we can walk over that bridge. Perfect. And the music kicks back in again. But Toll's not dead, that's always a good start. In terms of um, this being a successful venture. Now, I don't think there's a further to go at all. Like, we just go up here, and I believe we're at the summit. It's all a bit trippy down there, and then, but the music's in full, full effect. Um, we have all our gear. Um, the only thing that might have been missing would be the spirit necklace, but I don't believe, based on how you get that in the other series, and the other playthrough, that Hugo is going to get that. I could be wrong. 
But if it's going to happen, it's going to have to happen pretty soon. Because we are now at the Tower Summit. Now, like I said, I believe he's not going to get it. I'm not going to go out my way to find it. But he's level 50, which is higher than um, I managed to take take on um, the summit with um, with Unica. So, fingers crossed, this shouldn't be not doable. If that makes sense. Doesn't really make sense, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to call it a day here. And then tomorrow, we're just going to head upstairs. And hopefully, we should... Fingers crossed, be able to put pay to all of this, all of these shenanigans once and for all. Hugo style. Not fact style, but Hugo style. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself, and have a good day. Goodbye.